I love taking people who are struggling and showing them how easy success can look like because boy, they want it. I like that more than the egotistical, arrogant person that thinks they've got it all figured out and they're gonna tell you all the reasons you're wrong. I don't understand what's going on in the world today, but what I do know is this. I know that this world has been built to get us all to fall in somebody else's line. I'll work with anybody that's a good person who has goals and ambitions and wants to include other people and want to be the right. I'm not going to work for angry people. I'm not going to work with people who are going to steal, people who are going to take advantage. I don't care what gender, I don't care what color, I don't care what language. If you show up, I'm going all in with you. That's who I am, right? But what I don't understand, What I don't understand, as a kid growing up in the church, being told how I needed to engage in behavior, I was gonna burn in hell. If I didn't give money, I was gonna rot. Like, no father is gonna burn their kid in hell no matter what the kid does. Why do you keep telling me that? Why are you scaring me into submission? Don't do that, inspire me into it. So you go to different churches and you get good pastors and you get bad pastors. Doesn't mean the church, it doesn't mean that Jesus Christ isn't real, it means the person that's interpreting whatever they're reading that's doing it in a way that's not working. You go to schools, try to conform you, the government tries to conform you, the church tries to conform you, your friends try to conform you, your parents try to conform you, and here we are now, we're all adults, we're all in this room, and guess what? I'm here to tell you something if you've never heard it before, you can be whoever you want. And what I happen to know is if it's moral, legal, ethical, and compliant, you can be huge. If it's not, you're gonna run into trouble. And the more people you can bring along and impact their life, the bigger army you're gonna create and the more joy you're gonna have. I love everything I do. I love the errands of the world. I love these kids that come back from the military all broken and nobody's giving them the love and attention they need and showing them how they can not only survive but thrive in life and then impact other people. I love taking people who are struggling and showing them how easy success can look like because boy, they want it. I like that more than the egotistical, arrogant person that thinks they've got it all figured out and they're gonna tell you all the reasons you're wrong. Like, I have zero time for that person. But they can go do what they need to do. I gotta write down what I'm teaching, how to do it and what to say and when to say it and what the responses are, so which is the fourth P is people. You can't be huge by yourself. I cannot say that I'm a remarkable pastor if my congregation is my spouse. Oh, we hold church every morning in the living room. I have the greatest church in the world. Me and my wife. People would laugh at you, wouldn't they? But if you're like, yeah, I started a church five years ago. How many congregants? Oh, I got 50,000. Check out what you're talking about. Same is true with business. Oh, I'm the best dentist in the market. Oh, really? I do the best job. My six patients tell me so. Six? It's like my HVAC guy over there. We're the best. We're three million in revenue. Well, my buddy Ken sold this business for 550 million. So who's better? The three million or the 550 million? So you gotta look, who are you benchmarking? It doesn't mean he's not the best. He's the best for where he came from. He's winning, that's what's important. But how do you actually become 30 million, 300 million, 3 billion? Because every time you try to elevate to the next level, it's a whole new game. What these guys need to be doing is they need to be writing down how they're promoting. They need to be writing down how they make money. They need to write down what the exact process is. Every time he shows up at somebody's house and greets them and the door opens, exactly what he says, exactly what he does, Follow the leader, and you're not allowed to change it. And then you document it, and then you add people. Okay, now you go to the M's. By the way, there's 10 things you have to master to go from 100,000 to 25 million. Only 10 things. Would you like to know what they are? It's the four P's, the four M's, and context and contrast. Those 10 very specific elements, if you master them, you get to 25 million. Let me give you the most basic rule. If you can do between 250,000 and 500,000 in revenue per employee in whatever you're doing, and you can drive anywhere from 20 to 40% profitability off of those numbers, you can get 25 million if you master the 10 things. Context, contrast. Our friends back there that are doing 3 million ranks himself a 10 across the board. Let's do it again next year when he's 10 million and he'll have context and contrast. The two guys that he thinks are amazing probably won't even be with him. And he's like, man, I thought my best people were great. And then one day I showed up, they were gone. You learn that as you go along and you stop reacting to it and you start expecting it and you start building systems to make sure that it happens the right way. Does it make sense? And you get that as you get bigger. Context, contrast, context, contrast. If I do this, I can expect this. And if this is here, I know this is gonna be this way. And then the four Ps, promote, profit, process, people. Then the M's, model, what you prove works. Process is the thing you write down. Model is teaching people to model what you already wrote down. 
they're not allowed to change it. Does this make sense? As you add people, they cannot change what you've proven works.